This sedimentary rock wall is a perfect example of the law of superposition. Here is another example. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Law of Superposition. The Law of Superposition states that the youngest rock is always found on top and the oldest rock is at the bottom whenever you have rock layers. So the relative ages can be arranged by the depths of the rocks. So let's take a look at this Law of Superposition in action. You have this bowl. Imagine that it is a patch of land with rocks. Wind blows in sand, and the time now is exactly 8 p.m. Time passes, and water moves in rocks. So now you have another rock layer. Time continues to pass. Rocks are being deposited, and next, the wind picks up and blows in layers of dirt, along with some rain. We started at 8 p.m., but time has passed. The wind picks up again, and once again, you now have sand being deposited. Soon after the sand, you're going to get another layer carried in by the water of rocks. So now you have a layer of rock on top, top of the sand. Remember we started at 8 p.m. Time is passing by. Soon after that you have another layer of sand brought in by wind. And then finally, let's turn the bowl a little bit, and finally you have a nice rock layer. This took approximately a minute and a half, so it would now be 8.01 and 30 seconds. So the dirt on top is going to be younger than the rocks on the bottom. That is the law of superposition. However, life is not that easy. What happens when you get rocks like this that are folded and disturbed? Or maybe you get an example like this. However, the law of superposition is still an important principle used in geology and archaeology. If you'd like to know more about the law of superposition, this playlist will help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.